Hello, this is the October 7th episode of covering Seattle's pro sports teams. I am your host, of course, Charles Hammaker here, Circling Seattle Sports. I apologize, I started on the fly today. Um, got home last night from the rain match, Megan Rapinoe's last regular season home match of her career. Did some work till about 5 a.m. Woke up at like 9 a.m. <laughs> um, I fell asleep on accident. I didn't plan on doing that. So I kind of had to rush up to KCI. I forgot that crack at practice was at 11. We're gonna try to not get hit by a car. That would be ideal. Um, despite how some people feel about me. Um, let's see. Yeah, practice started about 11. Um, this was the day that we've got final roster cuts essentially. So, Riker Evans and Shane Wright heading down to Coachella Valley. Chris Drieger, um, Kale Flurry, and John Cruden are all currently on waivers as they are intending to go to Coachella Valley. Waivers are always a tricky spot, so it's unclear if that will play out that way. But, um, so yeah, I got some things to work on with that. Still some, a ton of stuff uh, from the rain match, uh, whether it be post-game quotes or different storylines from that. So uh, I said it a lot. Ooh, that's not a penny. I'm not going to grab that. <laughs> it was shiny like a penny. It was not a penny. A um, bunch of stuff that to do with that. Uh, we've got, so I'm leaving KCI currently. I've got um, Sounders here tonight. It's a 7.30 kick, so I can't go in until about 5.30. So I got some time to kill. So, you know, I talked about doing it last time, and I got the feedback after the first one that I need to show my screen and such. We'll be doing that today, I promise. The only thing is I have to find somewhere to sit down and eat before that. So, that's the next part. Of okay, well, Nicole, I apologize again. <laughs> Plans did not go as I had hoped. Um, stopped by downtown for lunch. Um, it relates to a story from the end of the Mariners season. Um, I was in a rush. I door dashed to the Mariners parking garage so that I could get out of the press box and go and get it. Um, excuse me. And it was, I just wanted something quick. I really did. I just got Burger King. And Brad Adam, yes, Root Sports Brad Adam. Brad's a good friend of mine. He goes, come on, man, you can do better than that. And I was like, Brad, give me a break. Uh, I went and got Domino's today, so I feel bloated, but it's food, but the belly's full. So I uh, stopped off there. Didn't really want to go and plop down my laptop in a Domino's, TBH. So, um, went and got coffee at Zeitgeist down here in Pioneer Square and now making my general way towards Lumen um, where I hope to hammer a few things out down there. Okay, so, <laughs> scoreless draw uh, between the Sounders and the Whitecaps there. Um, I guess I'm not entirely surprised. It um, has the Sounders staying in the third seed of the Western Conference, meaning that next week in St. Louis actually means something to them. Uh, it doesn't mean anything to St. Louis because St. Louis has already secured the one seed so I don't know it'll be interesting on the road uh, in St. Louis on decision day they have something to play for um, interesting day today you know going up thought I was gonna be late to uh, the iceplex for 
crack in practice. Had the uh, roster finalized there, so we'll get home and um, put that together. Have a good amount of the rain stuff that I was trying to work on um, taken care of. I'm gonna try to dole that out because there were multiple ideas that I had from that night. Uh, I got a good chunk of my Sounders article done, but uh, I wanted to, at this time of night when I'm leaving, it's, let's see what time it is. It's 10.34, someone's yelling behind me. 10.34, um, the buses run every hour, and the closest one that would get me home to Lumen is um, leaving at like 10.43. So, gonna try to catch that. Ooh, there's a... <laughs> Eh, it's not a story to talk about right now. We'll talk maybe some other time. But, um, yeah, so it's like I leave quote unquote early from the, that match um, to catch the 1040, or I have to kill time and catch the 1140. And I don't really, I could do that. I could like wrap up the article. I don't really want to wait down here for another hour so if I can get home a little bit more conscious then I'll do it so that's what we're doing now um, trying to see if I can remember anything yeah no it's it's very interesting um, going from different press corps to press corps like uh, the Kraken press corps I'm much friendlier with a bunch of those people because I know them better the Sounders press corps it's different. A little bit of that is on me for not talking to some of those other people as much. But I don't know. They all have their own different dynamics. The Mariners won, the Storm won, the Kraken won, the Sounders, the Rain, the Sea Wolves. They all have different. Well, I say the Sea Wolves, but I'm the only person that covers them outlet wise. So anyway, there's a cool Halloween Jeep. So we'll get home. I don't. I'm thinking about doing a little bit at the end when I get home to show some more work that I've done because I owe Nicole that much, but we'll see, we'll see. Right now, I'm focusing on leaving Lumen and getting home.